Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on today and do a project share with you. I received these adorable little witch legs in a swap from one of my subscribers. So Suzanne, hello. Thank you for um, these gorgeous little ladies legs. Um, you know that I'm falling in love with them. She went ahead with crepe paper and tulle and created these adorable little skirts on them. So I just thought that was such a cute idea. And then she embellished each one with a bow or some kind of trim and then like a spider. So I just think they're so cute. So that's the green one. Here's a purple one. That one has like a bat belt on, which is so cute. And the spider on the skirt. Here's an orange one. And here's the black one. So here she used the Dollar Tree tool with the spider webbing on it. So those are so cute. Her backs are real nice and finished um, where she just took a strip of crepe paper and put it across there. So I think those look really nice. Um, and I think what Suzanne did, if I can tell on here, she used hot glue and then kind of ruffled it up around the top of the waistband and then hot glued it in place like that. Um, that is absolutely perfect if you're going to use them on a flat surface for embellishment. So I could totally see this like on a memory decks card. You wouldn't need to do the back. I would not waste my time on that. Um, but when I created mine, I kind of had it in mind that I wanted to do um, the legs sticking out of a wand. So like a crepe paper wand or a rosette wand. So I did do mine all the way around. Um, first of all, let's talk about the legs though. So the legs are from Amazon. Um, I got a 30 pack after I asked Suzanne where they were from. Um, they just came in a little bag. There is the skew on there. I do have an affiliate link listed below if you want to use that. I do get a really small commission on it. Um, don't, don't feel like you have to use it though. But this is a 30 pack of the legs. They are actually cupcake toppers. So how you would use them is they would stick up you know, in the frosting of the cupcake and the legs would stick up. So that's super cute, like that too. But they come in, I think five different colors or six. So we have the lime green, the aqua, the purple, the orange and black, the orange and white, and the cream and black. So six different colors. So they come in that. Um, and then now let me show you how I kind of made them my own. So like I said, when I had mine in mind, I knew that I wanted to have them sticking out of a wand, which I didn't create yet. So I still had the idea in my mind. So I wanted to go all the way around because I want my wand to be double-sided. So I ended up, instead of hot gluing on this one, I just did a running stitch with a needle and thread um, ruffled it together and then tied it in the back and then I did secure it down with hot glue then I went with the tool and I did do a running stitch on the tool as well just to give it the ruffle um, then for the belt I did just kind of hot glue like this little gathered crepe paper on there just to kind of finish it off um, I did add one of these butterflies I'm sure we all picked these up at Hobby Lobby when they were on clearance for 74 cents it matches perfectly. I love the black and the orange together on there. And then I just finished it off with a handmade ribbon bow. So that was my green skirted one. This one I did the purple crepe paper. This one I actually glued the crepe paper. So I just did a dot in the middle to secure it. And then I made a ruffle, put some hot glue on there. Made a ruffle, put hot glue on it. And kind of did that all the way around. And that worked just fine too. Um, I wouldn't say it was any quicker than the sewing so I think it's just going to be your preference but then this one I finished it off I did do the ribbon first of all I put it the ribbon around it and then I did it over the top as well to finish it off so it had a nice finish on the top and then I added this this little wooden bat embellishment there and you can see for her skirt I used the purple purple tool from a Dollar Tree so that is the purple one um this one I really like this reminds me of like a either like a 1920s um, like fringe dress or like a tutu, either one. So I ended up using like this fringe that I uh, just put up for sale in my Etsy shop a couple weeks ago. It comes like this um, and you can crinkle it up as much as you want once you get it. So what I did is um, crinkled it all up here and then I put the tool on the bottom of this one instead of over the top because I wanted the tool to act kind of like a crinoline and keep it puffy. So I put that down first. Then I put the little tutu on. Um, I did take crepe paper over the top to finish it off. And then I used a little gingham bow and a little like iridescent type spider there. So that's what that one looks like. 
Um, this one, I used this kind of um, chiffon type ribbon that I got from AliExpress. Underneath, I used some ribbon that I had gotten on clearance at Hobby Lobby, and I just hot glued that on. I did sew this skirt to give it more of a poofy ruffle. So you can see the stitch up there, and then in the back, I just gathered it and tied it off. So that's what that looks like. And this one, I just put a little silver iridescent spider on there. So I love how that looks. And then my last one, I did orange crepe paper. I think I hot glued this crepe paper as well. But then when I put the tool on top, I cut slits in it to give it kind of a more flowy look. So um, these are all slit almost way all the way up on there. Um, and then I finished it off with some pom-pom trim that I had gotten on clearance at Joanne last year. So that's what that one looks like. You guys, I absolutely love how these turned out. I will show you if I end up using them in a wand. I do plan on using one on a memory Dex as well, but um, I'll show you guys those project shares when I'm done with them. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.